What's going on YouTube? It's Toxin here and today we're going to be talking about Marvel and no I'm not talking about Marvel Rivals. If you've been playing Marvel Rivals you've been having a great time but today I want to bring it back over to Marvel vs. Capcom. So today we're talking about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and Beyond. Okay so what is MVC I and Beyond? Well this is a fan made mod and you might have seen this from Maximilian Dude. He's been covering this for quite some time now. I'm really interested in playing it. So today we're going to show you how to install this mod. And we're going to look at the game. So let's talk about what this is a little bit. So Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and Beyond is a fan-made, uh, it's a large-scale fan-made mod that features all new visuals, game modes, music, balance, changes, and more. This is not endorsed by Capcom or Marvel in any capacity. This is 100% fan-made. This is only compatible with the Steam version of MVCI. You cannot pl play this on a modded Xbox. This is only on the Steam version. So we're going to show you how to go ahead and install this. Head over to MVCIB.com. That is the official website. You can watch the trailer here. Uh, you can also download it. They got two links here, Mediafire and Nexus Mod. I went ahead and downloaded this on Mediafire. This is 7 gigabytes of data. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long depending on your internet speeds. Now you're going to need to download Marvel's Capcom Infinite on Steam. Now, uh, one thing about MVCI is you're going to need... Now, there are mo characters in this game that are modded, like Venom. Um, so, you're not going to get that from the vanilla game. So, if you want the full experience, I, I recommend downloading the uh, character pack as well. Just make sure you get the version with all the characters. You can get this on Steam right now for less than $20 with the character pack. So go ahead and buy it right now. It's very cheap. The vanilla game is only, I think, 8 bucks. The character pack, I believe, is $5. Make sure you get the characters and the game. Go ahead and install that. And then we're going to follow some of the instructions right here. So let's scroll down and follow the instructions. How do I install the mod? So you're going to purchase the MVCI on Steam. Again, make sure you have the DLC costumes and characters. <clears throat> Download the mod, which I have already downloaded. It's a, Again, it's 7 gigabytes. Unzip the files. It says make sure you have at least 8 gigabytes of free space. Uh, I'm using WinRAR. You can use WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever you want to use. Here's where we got to look. We got to open up Steam Browser Library Collections, right click on the game and select Manage Browse Local Files. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go to Steam, Marvel vs. Capcom, right click, Manage, Browse Local Files. It's going to bring us the folder here, okay? Let's follow the next step. Remove any betas or mods. I okay, so we haven't installed anything. This is a vanilla install, so I have no, no betas or anything like that. Copy the MVCI folder and extract from the MVC beyond zip to this directory replace any file so let's go ahead and do that let's open up the folder here this is the game we're gonna look at the uh, the mod MVCI it says unzip right here right so let's go ahead and try that and make sure we did that correctly So in the mod folder, MVC Infinite and Beyond, you double click here, you're going to see the MVC folder. Go ahead to drag that, replace all the files in your main one. I simply cut and paste it, but I guess you don't have to do that. I'm going to delete that folder now. And uh, let's go ahead and open up the game and see how it runs. All right, guys, so there you go. This is MVCI and Beyond. The mod went through successfully, and wow, right off the bat, we can tell this looks great, sounds great. Uh, look at that menu background. I mean, that just looks awesome. Well, the intro background. I, I love it. I think it looks amazing. Let's go ahead and start this up and take a look at some of the uh, game modes. Now, I'm not going to go too much into the game modes. This is more a tutorial on how to install the mod. Um, but you can play the story mode. All right, we're going to go straight into battle just to show off uh, some of the characters, how everything looks. Again, I don't want to get too much into the mod. This is more of a tutorial, but I do want to look at some of the uh, graphics here. So let's look at the graphics on some of the character selects. Right here, we'll start with ca uh, the Capcom section. 
and everything looks pretty freaking cool. Look at these characters. I mean, this looks amazing. Let's look at some of the Marvel guys now. So I'm going to play as some of the DLC characters. I'm going to go ahead and pick Venom. Now again, the costumes, not all the costumes are modded. So if you switch over to Anti-Venom, you're going to see that it hasn't been modded. But they do have character palette swaps. So I'm going to pick Hyper Venom from MVC. And I'm going to go ahead and pick Zero. We'll go with the, uh, the black costume. And we'll do a quick little battle. Just run through it real quick. Wow, this thing looks freaking amazing. I love how this game already looks. I kind of wish that original MVCI was cel shaded. I don't know why they didn't go with this art style from the beginning, because uh, the original 3D that they used for the game, it just doesn't look good. I'm really not sure why they they didn't go with this in the beginning. But anyway, this just looks freaking awesome. Cancel that right out. Can you dodge this? Can you dodge this? Target destroyed. Turning the base. All right, there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have some fun with this mod. Oh, I hope you guys found that tutorial very uh, easy. Again, you don't have to cut. Don't cut and paste it like I did. Just open up the. MVCI mod folder, take that MVCI folder and just drag it and drop it right in there. Replace all the files and you're good to go. It's easy as that. Now I want to shout out Maximilian Dude and the team that put this together. Again, this was done by over 40 individuals. Completely free of charge. They did not have to do this mod. So thank you so much for putting this together. This is an amazing mod. It looks fantastic. This feels like a real, true sequel to Marvel vs. Capcom Ultimate 3. I really wish this is how it would have came out in the beginning. But anyway, guys, show love to the team. Go ahead and download this and have some fun. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you had a blast. Uh, I hope you have a blast playing this mod. We'll catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe. And peace out.